guys, it's Great Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of my dad's secret ambition. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, my stupid mouth, take 2, and 3, 2, 1, go. I always think that that's my hair. But I know. But sometimes it isn't. <laughs> um. <laughs> we have that. That's true. Always gotta be serious about having that. Oh. Ten Commandments for a dog. Oh. oh, I know. Oh, oh my God. I know. It just took one tear, one sadness, and her dad's like, fuck it, we get the dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. Bip, bip. Mm. You did not have to do that to me. Oh my god. I feel mean. But it's sweet. I think I'm actually gonna cry now. Oh my god. Bruh, like, oh my god. No! There goes the waterworks. <laughs> because even though I have Cody, I still miss my other dog. Like, so much. <laughs> to the point. Last year on Mother's Day, I gave my mom a necklace for me and her. With my dog's names on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, no more crying. But should be happy today. I know. Yeah, he might want a puppy. <laughs> because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me to leave the dog at home by itself. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You always have to take it out. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> this man denied. Dude, aren't you hot or nothing? Oh. <gasps> 
Amy just wants a friend with her. The partner's growing. Can you teach them from right from wrong? Oh. No, we just assumed that you were an only child. <laughs> oh my god. The little gossip girls. <laughs> Yeah, but there are some kids who are afraid of animals, and I have met them. And so I always have to pick up my dog, or when I had Yan and Kiana, I had to pick them up too, and I'm like, here, like, you slowly approach me. No, I think they'll just remember like the situation that happened in episode one when you saved the t with the tube and everything. Oh shit! Uh <laughs> uh. Which is true. Hmm. Oh. But he is gonna be sad. You don't wanna make your daughter cry, do you? Oh my god, honey. to get that damn dog for her. <laughs> Hi, he telling the truth. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know that feeling. Where it's just like, oh my god, what do you mean we're not getting the puppy? Get the damn puppy. <gasps> you gonna make him a depress. Do you want that for your child? Look at her. Walking home. Depressed. My puppy. You better give her a motherfucker. 
give her a fucking dog. Mm hmm. The, oh, the person who might be he means grandfather. <gasps> I know, I know. <laughs> it ain't gonna be the same though. Oh, he made time. You got it from that man, didn't you? So September 1990. <laughs> the fourth, the fourth generation. So where is the dog going to sleep? Oh. <gasps> really? <laughs> so where is she? Oh, she didn't want him to fall home. Oh my god, they're so cute. Puppies are so cute when they're babies. The fourth. Well, we naming it the fourth for now until we get a name. I still can't believe they hung up that picture and he made that dog. And the dog in the picture looks exactly like the dog that you have right there. Oh my god, yeah it is. And who is it? Is it Hime's mom? Oh my god! Looks exactly like her. Damn. That's why he met the floor pen. Right? But at least you have he made mom in a picture that you can see every single day. Mm -hmm. Make me want my puppy, but my puppy is currently laying in my mom's room in his bed. Because he likes to go back and forth between my room and his. <laughs> In her room in the living room. Look at him, so Poor baby. Why did you get a piano? Playing the piano with 
with a puppy in her arms. Stop. <laughs> She's so pretty. <laughs> oh my god, Goto, you need to watch what you say sometimes. <laughs> Oh, so that's why my dog is lazy, but my dog has always been like that ever since we got him. <laughs> because my dog don't even like to play. He likes to play with my hand, but we got a toy for him. <laughs> Barely plays with that toy. You gotta teach the dog. Like, come on, play with the toy. Ah. <laughs> hmm? uh. Wow. Unfortunately, I... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but hold up, like, just in case, let's just say this, like, but someone's art looking very, very similar to yours, can't you just go ahead and sue them and be like, hey, you can't draw anything like this anymore? Because <laughs> that's kind of like the situation with, um, I think it was, like, Death Note, and, like, uh, one celebrity was, like, drawing something that was very similar to it. thought that he changed his mind like that. <laughs> you know, baby! 
Do you? From who? Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh, that looks good. Oh, good job, baby girl. Finally, we get to see her friends older. And you are? No. Prettier. You gonna end it just like that, you mother effing bitches. Are you fucking kidding me? Who ends like that with good news? I have good news and bad news. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna wait till next Thursday to hear the good news and bad news. I wanna know the good news and bad news right here and now. Let's just go. Just straight up tell our teammates, fam, friends, what's the good news? And what's the bad news? Okay, but number one, can we just talk about the freaking picture of her mom and her dog and the fact that it's such an interview and it's an and it's a puppy? Oh, I can't. Oh, my God. And the fact that at the ending of this, he's in the, in the car with them. He's looking back at the screen. It's so cute. I can't. Oh, my God. But... I'm happy she got a puppy, though, because it's the biggest thing she's wanted. And it's just like, okay, she's home for, what, three to five hours, maybe even longer. Because, you know, who know her dad comes when it's, like, almost dark outside. So, I mean, I get the fact that she wants a companion and someone in her life because she's alone. We've all kind of really felt like that growing up as a kid. And we kind of wish either, whether you are a single, you know, the only child, because I am. And when I was in elementary school up into the point where my dogs passed away, I had them. I have Cody. And anytime when my mom is at work, you know, it's just me and him chilling together. But it just, you know, when you don't have a companion with you, it feels so weird. <laughs> it feels so weird not to have, like, a friend, not even a friend, a brother or a sister. If you are an only child, it feels weird to just be somewhere um, to be home alone sometimes. I, I remember, like, okay, because I am an only child, and one of my friends who I met in Nebraska, she was a little kid at a time, but now she's, like, a couple of years younger than me. Um, we developed not only a friendship, but a bond, because the fact is her family is a military family. My family was a former military family, um, as officially as of right now, and she moved here about a couple of years ago. Um, me and her will always hang out, even though we lived on the different sides of Florida and stuff, but still, even, we were living in the same town, though, but, um, her brother, her, like, second eldest brother, like, asked me, like, the most awkward question, and it was like, are you lonely? Do you feel lonely? And at first, I was like, no, like, what? I was like, number one, I was like, why in the world would your child or someone's child, especially, you know, because this, it kind of reminds me about with, you know, the episode of when he made friends said, 
do you feel lonely? And it's like, damn, that is not your business or whatever. You don't need to be asking questions that you don't really need to be thinking about. But yeah, you secretly do think about it. But like, yeah, everyone gets lonely at certain times. And it's not a problem to say, yeah, I do feel lonely. But when you have um, animals or someone with you, yeah, you feel fine. You feel a little more safe and comfortable. But when you, you know, you hear certain things and it's in the middle of the night and you're just looking around like, um what the fuck with that sound or anything but i mean yeah I, I think it's fine and happy that he may have the dog because not only the you know at the time she has her dad until we know the situation of what the fuck happened with her dad maybe what's her the sense that you know finally has an answer on her dad and plus she looks so pretty with long hair and a dress and heels and everything I'm like oh my god she had a glow up i'm like she looks so pretty and like even her friends like he makes friends everybody looks good i mean because i kept wondering um if we were ever going to see them during the the um the time switch of going from present day to future because we're going back and forth and we've gotten to see Hime as she's older um and Goto Sensei's you know workers even though it's really either the back of their head or like the side of their head and not as much and I kind of wish we can get that full front facial review um reveal to see how his you know his co-workers look because I mean I need it. I want it. I want to see the dog older, even though you only really show it in the ending. But still, I want to see the puppy because, I mean, puppy. And the fact is that we're going to see more of the puppy until the end of this series. It's so good because the puppy, he's so precious. Like, please give him a freaking name. Like, oh my God. It better not be something. I don't know. It, it, it has to be something cute. My God. Like, come on. He's an adorable baby boy or girl. I don't know, but name the puppy, please. <laughs> That's all I want. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 7 of my dad's Dick and Ambition. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 8. Bye, guys.